So we're back here in the exercise facility where um, here at the Johnson Space Center where the astronauts train on the equipment that's on board the International Space Station. Here I am on the A-RED, which is also called the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device. This piece of machine, it looks like a behemoth and is very intimidating. I'm actually going to attempt it, but it is a um, what simulates weightlifting here on Earth. And so here with me today is Bob Tweedy. He's one of the trainers, one of three trainers that um, trains the astronauts on how to use all of the equipment that's on board the International Space Station. Welcome, Bob. Thank you. So um, let's get to it. We're going to go first into um, one of the exercises. There's many exercises that we can do yeah. on this, correct? That's correct. So um, we're going to start with some leg exercises. We're going to go with a squat because I'm daring like that. <laughs> and um, we're going to go here. First, I want Bob to explain to us a little about how this works because obviously in space you, you're not going to feel weight. Um, so I'm actually going to adjust the load um, and he's going to explain how this works. So what you're doing here is uh, uh, adjusting the load. Uh, this is a zero gravity weightlifting machine that can provide up to 600 pounds of resistance when you use the lift bar. It can also provide an additional 150 pounds of resistance if you use the, uh, the cable and I think you're going to demonstrate some of that as well. Uh, the load is provided by uh, two cylinders that contain a vacuum. So you're constantly pushing and pulling against the vacuum. Okay. And emphasis on zero, because I just put it down to zero. Ah. Okay. All right. So go ahead and get under the bar and just position, position yourself for the squat. Okay. okay. And we're going to take it off the rack? Take it off the rack. All right. Stand up. Slide your feet back just a a tad I like that and you are ready to go ah! <laughs> I did that for a <laughs> very effect. good lift. actually this is um it's uh it works I can feel it I feel yeah. the burn yeah so um can you tell me does this feel any different here as it does in space it, does it feel the same do you know well ha having not been in space I can't <laughs> tell you exactly but uh, uh, the load is constant, just like free weights would be on the ground or in the gym. Um, the, uh, the crew members would dial in a load that you know, would be appropriate per their prescription. Okay. And uh, they're coming back in really, really good shape. So we like, the, we like the effects of this machine. And so typically how many do they do, reps, sets? Oh, they'll, they'll do, uh, it, 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 it go can, ahead and rack yeah, this. you can go ahead and rack it forward and then down. And then good. So typically, they, they will do three sets. Three sets of ten is probably the standard, but it could be four sets of twelve. It could be three sets of six. It all depends on if they're doing a heavy day, uh, a medium weight day, or, or maybe a light day with more repetitions. So okay. it, there's some variation in that. Okay, so it protocol. just depends on the astronaut and what his or her prescription is. Right. For That's exactly right. Okay, great. So talk to me a little about what exercises. We'll go ahead and break this down, if you will. Okay. And we'll get ready to do some arm exercises. Right. But tell me a little more about the different exercises that we can do with this machine. You can do pretty much anything on this machine that you, that you can do on the ground. Um, the big, the big uh, lifts that we focus on are, are squats, which you just did. We can do heel raises, deadlifts, and a wide variety of cable exercises. There's also a bench that we can attach to the platform. Are you cranking it up? I'm cranking it up because... You're killing me, Smalls. You, you need to do this. Oh, no. All right. So there's, a, there's an exercise bench that can be attached to the platform, and you can lay on the bench, and you can strap in, and you can do you know, your typical, your bench, typical press. bench press. You can sit on the bench and do presses, overhead presses. So uh, a wide variety of exercises that... Uh, you can do and, it, and and the great thing is that the load is a constant load so That's interesting so a lot of these exercises are they all isolated are there any complex exercises that can be done um, we, we try not to get too complex with the machine uh, because isolation what you said is, is really important when you exercise in the machine the machine basically free floats away from the station structure on a on a system of rails okay and you can excite that system if you do certain lifts and um, the reason why it free floats while you're using it is because you don't want any forces that you produce as a, as a user to be transmitted into the structure station. Okay, great. So what are we going to do first there? You're going to do, do bicep curls. All right. With, I'm ready. With the cable. And so um, which exercises do they do daily and which, as opposed to which ones they do differently? 
you know, right. alternate. Um, every day they'll do some form of squat, like okay. the regular squat that you just did. They may do a, uh, a squat, squat with a wide stance, a wide stance squat, uh -huh. and they can do a single leg squat. Okay. Squat and so there are different leg. variations of the Absolutely. of each exercise as well. That's right. And understand that the lower body exercise is pretty important significantly for for astronauts in, on the space station. And why is that? Well, uh, bone loss, as as a lot of people know, is a huge issue. Uh, we see the susceptible areas are the the hip area, and lifts like squats, deadlifts, really uh, provide good loading to to those uh, problematic areas. Uh, and so you'll see typically uh, crew members do some form of squat or some form of deadlift pretty much every day. And those are typically high load. They'll crank the load up pretty high when they do those too. Okay. okay. Show me some more. Now you can go Show ahead and just yeah, switch over your grip and then uh, put your hands relatively close together. And then like uh, you can kind of go up and do an upright row. And this is working out what? Okay. Stand a little bit closer and stand up straight. And here you're going to come straight up. Ooh. And you should feel it in the shoulders. That's where I'm feeling it. And so what else can we do with this? Okay. We can do several exercises with just this bar even. Absolutely. Um, another one you can do is you can widen your grip just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Bend over at the waist with a straight back. Okay. And then just row that bar right into your stomach. And you can, you can uh, get the muscles in, the, in your back, upper back. Well, I'm definitely feeling the burn. <laughs> You know, I have to. I have to wonder, and I don't know if you've been able to talk with any of the students on the uh, on the uh, space station. I am winded, and <laughs> I don't know if you've ever talked <laughs> talk with any of the um, crew members on that who have done this, and if this is kind of a welcome feeling in space when you're, you know, in microgravity to actually kind of feel some kind of weight yeah. up there. Um, everyone that I've talked to, and that's about all of them, uh, really, really enjoy the time they have with this machine on station. Um, you know how good it feels, or good how good you feel after a good workout. You seem to be more energized, have time to do other things. Um, they love it, they get a great workout, and they really appreciate it.